What's up guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X, and today we're going to be taking a look at Signage Mod 12 for the Verizon LG G3. Now, Signage Mod 12 basically brings Android 5.0 to all devices that wouldn't otherwise have them, and even some devices that already have Android 5.0. So far, only 5% of all Android devices actually has a lollipop, so basically that's the Nexus devices, a few Moto devices, and devices like the LG G3 Note 4, Galaxy S5, HTC One have the release of over the air scheduled but it's not quite ready yet it may not be ready till the first of the year on those devices but you can have it on your device now thanks to signage mod 12 on the verizon variant of the lg g3 we have signage mod 12 an unofficial beta build thanks to a couple of developers invisibleck and kells mills who have put this together for our device invisibleck has some newer builds uh 11 30th was the newest build as of the recording of this video it's a little wonky so in that build, things kind of regressed and some things were broken. Kelsmells had a build cherry picking from Invisiblex build on 11.27th that came out and it seems to be very stable. I have an install guide for the Verizon LG G3 and you'll want to make sure to check out the download links there. It has the proper Signage Mod 12 uh, download link and also the G Apps link. Don't use the regular G Apps, use a specific one uh, because it should help with things like the camera and Bluetooth not working. So all the standard stuff works here, Wi-Fi, uh, mobile data, text messaging works. The camera is said to work. We'll go ahead and test it out now. Okay, so the camera is supposed to be working, but for some reason uh, it is not working. So as you guys can see, this is beta. It may not be daily driver quite yet. Uh, it's supposed to be working, but for some reason is not working. And I did do a wipe and I wiped Dalvik and uh, Android Runtime also wiped Cache. So that should not be the issue. For some, I'm not really sure why it's not working for me here. Um, like I said, it's said to be working in the thread if you read the 70 pages uh, for this particular build. It may be working on your device. So it's going to be different with different devices. There, As far as I know, there's no official Signage Mod 12 build out yet. Everything's unofficial and beta. So some things will work, some things won't work. That's kind of how beta builds work. You know, they're a little wonky at times. So we'll go ahead and check out Bluetooth here on this device. I'll turn it on, and I'll turn on a Bluetooth speaker. We'll try to pair it. Pairing mode. Use the Bluetooth settings on your device to connect. So I've got my speaker here. We'll go into our settings and Bluetooth, and it's on, so we'll see if it finds anything. The thread that I read said that Bluetooth should be working, and it may or may not work on your device. This is, keep in mind, for the Verizon LG G3, it says no nearby Bluetooth devices were found. So I have been uh, told that it's totally not working for calls, but it should be working on some devices, uh, just depending on the device itself. I have just this Fugu speaker here, and it's not working for it. Another thing that people said they were having issues with was video, so we will launch YouTube, see if we get any video. Okay, so it looks like video is playing just fine. Uh, no issues with video on this particular build. Like I said, once again, it may be different from your device. The main thing here is this is Android 5.0. It may or may not be daily driver on your device. Many people have said that this has become their daily driver ROM on the LG G3 uh, because it does calls, it does text messaging, it does mobile data. So those are the three things that are really necessary. It does do navigation uh, really well, so GPS is totally working here. We'll go ahead and launch the maps. And I'll just type in Best Buy. Okay, we'll go ahead and navigate. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, showing us how to navigate. So navigation is working just fine. GPS is working just fine. Okay, so as far as performance is concerned, um, I've noticed a couple of random reboots. Those happen on first boot. So after you use the phone for a while, that seems to go away. Also, any lagginess seems to go away after you've used the phone for several hours. Um, you'll also notice here that it's showing that I don't have any connection, but that's because there's no SIM card there. So I'm totally working off Wi-Fi on this phone. Um, LTE totally works here. But we'll go ahead and show you guys some performance. 
seems to perform pretty well. Like I said, not really experiencing much lag here. Uh, everything seems to be smooth, but uh, there's some lag on the first initial boot and also maybe a few random reboots on the initial boot, but after that everything should be fine. Okay, so you'll notice that you have all your Android 5.0 Lollipop features, you've got your quick settings, and there's not a whole lot of customization options in this build, it is beta. You have all your uh, quick toggles, you've got your heads up notifications, you've got your Android 5.0 Lollipop animations throughout. Okay, if you press and hold the screen, go to wallpapers, you do have your CyanogenMod wallpapers. You've got a CyanogenMod boot animation. If we go into our settings and we go into status bar, uh, you can turn on the brightness control. And then also you want to make sure to, uh, for that to work, you'll need to go into display and turn off the adaptive brightness. And then you can use your status bar slider for the brightness. Now, I haven't gotten any confirmation as to whether or not the Wi-Fi tether works. Uh, I haven't tried it. I haven't even inserted my SIM card into this device. With CyanogenMod 12, some are saying it works, some are saying it does not. But as far as day-to-day -day use, uh, for most people, this will not be ready for daily driver uh, use yet. If all you really have to have is GPS, telephone, text messaging, web browsing, uh, video playback, and uh, basically if you don't need Bluetooth and you don't have to have your camera, then you can use this as a daily driver and you should be able to get through the day pretty pretty well. Some people are reporting less than perfect battery life. Um, I haven't really noticed anything worse than just regular stock. You might want to just try flashing this ROM, see how the battery life is working out for you. If you just can't handle this ROM, just make sure that you do back up your phone before you flash it and you can always restore. Uh, it's always fun to play with the cutting edge. The Verizon LG G3 does not have Lollipop yet. This is one way that you can play with Lollipop on this device if you just want to give it a try. So we'll go into settings and about phone, see what we're working with here. It's Android version 5.0. This is the November 27th build, which is the best build available for the Verizon LG G3. If we click on that Android version, uh, you'll see the Lollipop Easter egg. And then if we press and hold the lollipop, it will bring up the Android Easter egg. So anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for Signage Mod 12 on the LG G3. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more coverage like this in the future. As soon as we have a stable build of Signage Mod 12, I'll be sure to update this review with that video. Uh, right now, Invisiblack has stable, more stable builds of Signage Mod 11 for the LG G3. They're actually official builds. This is an unofficial build, but if you need something more stable, you could always go with CyanogenMod 11. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.